Hey, what's going on guys? Learn today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the intro that you have just seen on screen. Before we get into the video, I'd just like to remind you guys to please do that like and subscribe if you're enjoying the video. So also comment down below in order to help me make more money. Uh, but with that being said, let's get right into the tutorial. Uh, so what you're going to need to do before uh, you even do any of this is just download the uh, the project file that is in the description. It is 100% free. However, I do, I would ask you guys to, uh, to just drop a sub, you know, I spent a lot of time making this. So it would be uh, very much appreciated if you were to, uh, to do that. Um, but yeah, uh, once you have it downloaded and you have it open, it should look sort of like this. So basically, uh, you're going to want to change a couple of things here, I am assuming. So the first thing I want to change is the uh, the profile picture up here. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So you're going to see the comp one right here with the sound effects down here. So what you're going to want to do is actually just click through on to the intro right here. And uh, you're going to want to go down to the top right here. Now, the, it should be this one. It should say top right there. You double click on that and you're going to want to go into the top left. And right here, you're going to want to go uh, first into the PF and it just replace the picture that is right here. So basically, this is a shape layer. It's like sort of a frame. And then right here, you have the mask. So what you need to do is just import your thing and then you click on the mask right here, control C, and then you paste that on to your profile picture. Once you've made the profile picture the same size as mine. Now, all of these assets will be in the description as well. So you guys can actually do this uh, easier, essentially. So you, you can actually see what you're doing. Uh, but after that, uh, from the top left, you go into the PFP text and you just change this you know, online signal. You change that to whatever. Uh, so just go ahead and do that. The font I'm using for this is Nolan Next Light. Uh, you can just go and Google that and you should probably be able to download it pretty much anywhere, I would assume uh and yeah so uh from that you can go ahead and change the bottom text right there so for me this says uh, fresh digital editing packs i'm assuming that's not what you're gonna want to have um i mean if you do want it to be like that i'm not against it but you know uh yeah <laughs> realistically speaking you're probably gonna want to change that so just head over into uh what i believe should be the uh the screen one and double click on that and it should look like this so this should have a bottom right there that's sort of animated like this just double click on that and right here you can just change the text so you can literally make this say whatever you want uh as long as it does you know sort of fit in with the theme i would recommend you keep the same font and the same colors however you know completely up to you uh now once you have done that the next thing we are going to change is uh just sort of i guess you could change the stuff that comes out uh back here uh if you do want to do that that should come in uh right here in the screen one so if you do want to change the background you have the opacity animations right here so basically if you just have another picture you want to fade in you can just go and copy these values onto that uh, and it'll just sort of fade like that uh, so if you do want to change that, it, it does go into here. I guess you could make it, you know, click on something else. Uh, in which case, what you're going to want to do is you're going to move the shape layer, the outline and all the scaling onto somewhere else. However, you know, there's only one other place you could have it click. Uh, and honestly, it just seems like more effort than it's worth at that point. So I would just recommend leaving it as it is. Uh, now it does come up right here. Uh, you can change this text if you do want to. Uh, it'll be right here. So you just double click on that. You can set this to say whatever you want. Just simple text layers, uh, nothing too advanced. Uh, so now once you've changed that, I guess you could change the games that come in right here. Uh, now, you don't really need to do this, honestly, but, uh, you know, if you want to, I guess. Uh, you just click on the uh, what should be the uh, these right here. So um, essentially what this is, is these are the three animations that I've split up. So basically what this is, is this is a uh, um, a mask. 
that comes in and that's why they how, or how they come in at different times so i have separated these by two frames uh so basically this bottom mask right here i've masked out the bottom three and then the middle mask this three and then the top one those uh so what you're gonna need to do is just delete all of these and then drag this out and you just want to go ahead and go into this and literally just uh just change all of these pictures essentially now uh all of these are you know uh they're pretty much already set in place so pretty easy to change so if there is a particular image you do want to change you can just go ahead and find the layers if i wanted to change the monopoly i just delete this and add another picture in its place now these shape layers right here they come in according to the mouse so if you do have the mouse go and head somewhere else you will want to change the shape layers you can maybe that one as you can see very very easy uh so if you want to do that now the cursor right here is pre-comped uh all the movement is on the pre-comp so uh you can just go ahead and move it around if you want now for me when uh this is the curve i am using for the cursor it looks uh like this so if you do want to change the cursor you will want to apply this graph i would recommend using flow it'll be a whole lot easier for you uh so this is the uh just copy this graph i guess and uh yeah the values should be right here uh and yeah you can just go ahead and apply these to all of those now um you can just change the background as well uh, i'm not entirely hold on i'm not entirely sure where the background is it will most likely be i guess in nope not in there uh it'll be somewhere uh they oh they're actually right here i haven't even pre-comped them uh so yeah those come in right there uh, you can just go and change the uh, the opacity right there as well. And literally from there, it just clicks on Fortnite and it comes in like that. If you do want to change the animation, there's not really much I can tell you about that. Uh, but it does come in. The intention is to add some sort of beach shake right here. Uh, well, I, you know, I, I haven't added them because I don't really use After Effects for effects anymore. So, uh, yeah, just go ahead and add your own beat chick, add whatever. And essentially, you're going to want to sync this up with music. I can't, you know, send you guys music in the description because that would be illegal file sharing. And I am a good boy. So I cannot do that, unfortunately. Um, but what I can do is just recommend you to match these up with some beats. You can delay them as well if you make the composition longer. And just go and fiddle with the Blur My Curves values right here. Um, but yeah, that is really about it. Uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. Uh, if, they just showed, like, the, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. And I'll see you guys in a couple days and peace.